poetry. I'm just gonna tell what I read, but I'm not gonna reflect on every poem that we did because that would take so much time. We have Edgar Allan Poe. I love Edgar Allan Poe. I really like him, like this idea of spookiness, creepiness, and he is the father of gothic literature, like he's the man. And we talked about poems such as Raven, which is one of his most popular poems, and we also talked about Annabelle Lee, um, those are the most important ones that, that came to my mind now, so Edgar Allan Poe. And then we talk about Robert Frost. I love his works too because they're very pure, very beautiful and very connected to nature. Uh, the idea of divine also. We talked about the poem, for example, The Rotten Note Taken, which speaks about the idea of making decision and this awareness that you're not gonna be able to uh, change the past once you make a decision. So that was a very, very powerful poem. We also talked about Maya Angelou. Angelou, is that how you say it? I think so. Till I Rise was one of the poems that we read. Very powerful about femininity, about womanhood, um, about the woman of color to hell yeah. Like every time I read, re read, like every time I read this poem, I'm like, yes, <laughs> go ladies. Did you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling down like teardrops, weakened by my soulful cries? I mean, I think it can refer not only to women, but I think the whole idea of it was femininity. And of course, Emily Dickinson, how can you learn literature without Emily Dickinson. Oh, I have her collection here somewhere. Where are you? Okay, oh no. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's her. Yeah, we talked about quite a few few poems. We talked about the hope is the thing with feathers and also I dwell in possibility, for example, uh, which both of them are very beautiful and happy poems full of hope and, well, possibilities. <laughs> But, but they help is the thing with Feather's focus on this idea of hope being able to reach by anyone and the idea of a bird being a hope was also very beautiful. But in general, her poems are very sad and depressing. Uh, she, she writes a lot about sadness, anxiety, death. She writes a lot about death, but also about femininity and sexuality, idea of being a woman. Um, so she's one of the most powerful writers ever and she was, well, she still is, she's not alive of course, but she still is one of the most powerful authors and I love her very much. Uh, I, as you, oh my goodness, what the hell? Yeah, as you can see, I like to, I like to reflect on my feelings. What the hell? Can you see it? Yeah, I have not read her for a while, I didn't know that. I wrote so many things. How I annotate my... Okay, that's it from American Lit. I mean, American Poetry. And the English one, we did. Ooh, we did Philip Larkin. Oh, I liked it. I loved those poems. We did, for example, Here and I Remember, I Remember. I'm not gonna dwell too much because that's gonna be so long. We also did Evan Bolin, The Warhorse and Anna Leafy. Oh, they were, oh, this one is so cool. We did also Stevie Smith. His his poems and poetry in general is very cool because it's very um, connected to nature, also divine and very medieval and magical aspects it has, which I love. Oh, we did Fafnir and the Knights. I loved this poem. It was actually very cool and it talked about dragon and knights wanting to kill him, kill it, but it was beautiful. It talked about the idea of what does it mean to be a creature, a living creature with feelings and not being and being well sort of misunderstood because those knights wants to well simply kill the creature just because he's the dragon, not knowing that he's simple being living himself and in nature. So it was a very cool poem, it was very, it was very beautiful. And it was also waving not drowning, which was also so beautiful. Like I just it just just read those poems. They just gonna make you see the world in a different way, I feel like. We also talked about Robert Graves. We talked about the white goddess. I like the poem too very much. Um oh Carol and Duffy. We talked about quite a few poems of Carol and Duffy. She's very powerful and I really like her. She um, focuses off of she focuses on themes such as sexuality, femininity, the idea of the woman in the world. Then we also talked about Anne Saxton. Oh, do I have Anne Saxton some, somewhere? Is that her? No, that's more and more. We did not talk about. Oh no, we we did we talk about some poems of Marianne Moore, or am I? Or this is like my my own. 
I don't think we did more and more, but she's very good too. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I can see Anne Saxon here. Well, we did Monisa Alvido, only few poem, poems, but she is definitely my favorite author, and I have two books of hers. I why why I don't see those books? Yeah, you you know what? I don't see it. I don't know what it is, but um, this is this is Europa, 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 and it is the sort of the retelling based on Greek myths. Um, it was about Europa uh, being raped by the bull. Bull was basically Zeus. Boy. Wait, what? It is not said in a book, but I suppose so because it's a, it's rooted in myths and legends. So, well, basically, Europa being raped by the bull, and it focuses on theme, themes such as trauma, mainly anxiety, depression. Oh yeah, so it's um, it's the centerpiece of the story of the rape of Europa by Jupiter as a bull. So Jupiter, but in Greek myths also Zeus trans transforms himself as a bull. So you can read that whether Jupiter or Zeus. Here it says Jupiter, but such a powerful collection. My favorite poem is, it's definitely Mermaid. It was so, oh yeah, actually, he, here, so you can't, he, oh, it was very intense, but very, very sad, but I loved it so much. And those were British poems that we talked. My room is so messy right now, that is crazy, but I did it, Jesus, I did it. There's gonna be a lot of editing. I am so sorry about that, but I'm so happy. I'm so happy because I finished my studies now and I'm not exactly happy because I, I love studying, I love it. And I love reading too and analyzing books and poetry. I really like that, but now I still can do it even though I'm not studying. I don't know yet where life will lead me. I definitely will talk about books. And I will definitely write some good books. My poetry collection is out. I think so. <laughs> it's not out yet when I'm recording this video, but I think it will be out when you will be watching it. At least I hope so. The poetry collection though will be in Polish, so I don't think you're gonna read it. But if you know Polish, if you're one of my Polish watchers, Polish viewers, you can read it. It is also very sad poetry collection. Such as upon topics such as um, madness, depression, trauma, anxiety, the idea of not being able to control your feelings, the idea of following the thoughts that are not really yours, but they're just toxic subconsciousness. The idea of madness is essential here, but it's in Polish, like I said, and it's not even out yet when I'm recording that video, so maybe I should just shut up. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so happy that I finished my studies. Like I said, happy and happy, um, but I'm going to continue to read books, of course, because that's what I love. Now, thank you so much for watching this. I don't know how long this will be. I hope it's not gonna be too long. Thank you so much. And if you're interested in any books in particular, I would love to talk about that. Like if you want something for school, if you want some analysis of some poetry stuff, I would love to do that. So if you want me to make this channel like a academic channel, you know, I can do that. I honestly can do that. I can, I can like teach you, but I'm being very chaotic. So I don't know if you want that, but if you want that, we can do that. Thank you so much for watching and that's it. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day today. Remember to smile and remember to read some good books. Bye!